Welcome back with us, guys. Busiest earnings week for this quarter, yet we've had to be very careful and very patient because either SPY or the rest of the market has been trading very flat or it's been giving us false signals. I see traps and I prefer to sit on my hands and look for good opportunities. And one that gave something pretty good was Facebook today. It had very good numbers, came out with great, um, great earnings last night and see this pop right after hours after the, um, on, after the results came out. And obviously at the gate, at the bell this morning, there was a lot of profit taking that together with other tickers uh, of importance. And we saw some profit taking obviously. 332.75 is a high that was achieved um, just before the bell. However, this is pre-market. And so we're opening at all-time high for Facebook. If you look at its behavior, obviously, it's selling off. Um, it tries to go up a little bit, and then it starts selling off a little further. So good numbers. Um, we're wondering if we will find additional buyers people that want to chase at all time high so what to look for is how is the rest of the market behaving and at that point you could look at the queues qqq or spy to give you an idea of what the market is doing and obviously both of them were uh taking some profit you saw some profit taking and basically they're going lower and lower and lower so you have one on one side and Facebook on the other side. And if you look at carefully at Facebook, what it did, it came down to the green line is the 200 EMA. It came down all the way to the green line and then it started, started moving up. Now, if you know what Facebook does and I'm, I'm going to let you know a little secret that I, I, I really like to, to look for for Facebook. It will not always, but many times provide you with a double bottom. And I was looking for another bottom on Facebook in order to get in. However, look at what happened at 11. We're above the Tima, which is the neon green line. And then it starts to move up. If you look at SPY on that specific line, 11.05, it's already rising. So you're like, okay, the market is starting to be bullish. Let's get in. This could have been a very good entry here at 11.05. However, um, if you look just a little further, 11.10, SPY starts turning down again. So if you're looking for double bottom, SPY starts to to go down you're like okay i'll wait for that double bottom but it doesn't it keeps on going look at facebook you know you get one and another one and another one that's like five green candles in a row you're like man this one's gonna go however spy keeps on going lower and lower starting at 11 10. so basically you have the overall market that is trading lower, however, Facebook is still going higher. So this tells you about the strength of the ticker saying the ticker is not really caring about where the market is going. It wants to go up. However, now we start to have some profit taking, which is great because this is what we're looking for. We're going for a double bottom and look at what happened. We got another hit at the um, 200 EMA, that dark green line, which is pretty much as far as I thought SPY would go, which is closer to the 417-ish, very close to that. So we're at the lows. If you zoom out a little bit, we're not on the low of day on Facebook, which tells you we're still higher than whoever was the bearish on the day. However, on SPY, we're lower. So 
basically we're giving we're telling you that we are in a bullish or stronger mode than what SPY and QQQs are having right now. So at the low of day, um, let me show you exactly here. Here was the low of the day on Qs and SPY. We are higher than the low of day on Facebook. So it's telling you here we're stronger than the market in general because the rest is lower and we're higher than we've been in the day. I mean, this is Facebook, which is a huge weight, well, a big weight in the, let's say, top five tickers in the S&P 500. So it's relatively speaking a good idea to look at the queues and look at SPY to know what the overall market is doing compared to um, a larger or a large weight ticker that you're, ta you're uh, trading on the S&P 500. So here we have a situation where Facebook is actually um, feeling stronger than the market in general. So let's uh, take this off. So this is where we are alerted a little early. I um, didn't expect to break below the uh, the 417 line on SPY. However, we alerted um, almost, I, I believe it was 12.06 and the low of day was 12.07. So pretty much very close. So we alerted here, 12.06. We alerted the 330s, 330C for um, 292. Where's the flag? 330s, why? Because I thought we would get, and which it, this is for next week. Obviously this week would have paid probably better. However, this was a much safer play. So 330, why? 330 was my final destination. I will get to that in a second. So we entered here. And if you look at target, um, I'll show you. Look at target. We climbed very quickly to a point after the um, results came out. That specific point was 328.13. And then again, it stopped. Now I broke through, it became support this morning. And then if you look at the open, it rejected that line. It went to get above it and it didn't. So my point is when we reach that line, as we did yesterday after hours, something's going to happen. Are we going to reject it? Maybe. Are you going to go get through it? Maybe. But the, the good idea is to take some off, which we did. We did take some off exactly on that line and ended up going higher. Um, we took some off at 4.53, if I recall. And then the final destination was 3.30. Why? Um, let's see, drawings. Three thirty was this line. Three thirty is the line where there was support. It's mental support as well. And now it becomes resistance. So it was my target. It was the strike because I believed we could have gone to three thirty, maximize the delta climb on uh, the way up. And we got to there and I sold for 545. We went up a little further afterwards, but hey, I'm super happy with the uh, with the play. It worked as planned. And the idea was to be patient. We had tons of flat trading and tons of opportunities that we could have played um, this week. However, sitting on your hands, waiting for something that you know and something that you believe could work 
will probably let, let you um, on a greener side than, like I say, trying to play the best out of the worst. So this was all planned and I hope you guys managed to get some of it.